flame design is one of the most common traditional Bargello designs. It looks complicated, but it's actually easy to do. Today, I'm going to show you how. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So if you're just getting started with Bargello, feel free to check out my other videos which talk about um, fabric and thread combinations and how to get started stitching and some simple stitching designs. But a flame stitch is one of the most popular traditional stitches. It looks complicated, but it's actually pretty easy to do. And it's just a variation of the standard zigzag. So on this zigzag, we can see each stitch goes up and down with one step. So it's regular up one, down one. On, on the flame stitch, the stitching is just done in different size of steps. So let's get stitching and I'll show you how to do it. When we look at this pattern, we'll see some of the steps are bigger than one step and some stitches don't have any difference between them. So that's how we get the flame design. So just like in my other Bargello tutorials, we're going to start in the center column and that just helps make sure our design is centered on the piece. I'm taking my stitches over three holes in the canvas. Second stitch is down two steps from the first stitch. Then I have down one step and then down one step again. And then I have two stitches with no steps in between. They're directly beside each other. Then down one step two more times. And then the final stitch is going to be down two steps. So this is the base shape of the flame. And I'm going to repeat that going up. So the pattern is two steps, one step, one step, zero steps, one step, one step, two steps. This canvas that I'm using is short, but if I was doing a really wide piece, I would just keep continuing this pattern over and over. Once one side of the row is stitched, then we'll come back to the other side of the row and stitch this in a mirror image. Once the first row has been stitched, that is a foundation row which is going to serve as a reference for all the other rows. Now I did manage to turn my sample over, so top and bottom are in a different orientation, but for this stitching it doesn't matter which way is up. Once you get to the end of the row, then you'll fasten off your thread as usual and repeat the same process for all the other rows. The rows at the top and the bottom will have partial stitches. You might decide to change the color of some stitches to avoid odd orphans. So that's how easy it is to do. Have fun stitching with flame stitch on your next Bargello embroidery project. For more tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.